Hey guys, welcome back to the part three of ORM series. In this video, we are going to cover how to save data in many-to-many -many field in Django. There are actually two ways. One is by using dot add, and an another one is by using dot set. So we are going to cover both of them. So let's get started. So the prerequisite for this one is that we should have a model that has M2M field, and in this case, we have our post model. This has one M2M field called as category, and we have created uh, uh, multiple categories in the last video. So we are going to go to views, and and actually let's create the data first. At least two posts and then we will uh, start working on this one so i fired up my uh, server and now i will go to this url and let's go to the admin side so over here we are going to go to post and like add one i will call author as admin title say first post this so i'm going to select a category as first one and going to save this and then i'm going to create one more post Over here also I'm going to select the category as first one. So our two posts are ready and both of them has category as one. So now we will go to the code in the post view set inside views.py we are going to start by creating our new endpoint and I will start by writing that. So I will write action first again de over here detail will be equal to true because we require id in the url and methods you all can actually do post method but i'm going to use put method i'm going to use patch over here and then we are going to define our endpoint so endpoint will be called as add category because first we are covering the add so self request then pk because we are expecting a pk in the url then arguments and then keyword arguments so before we proceed let me tell you something add will be used to add more of categories to the post and set will be used to like clear all the categories and then add uh, new ones okay so first we are going to do the add so over here i'm going to extract ids from the data so i will call this as categories and this will come from request.data.get and i will call this as ids okay once we have this we are going to get the object okay so we have to update the categories of one particular post right so that post ek is this so that's why we are going to filter that so i will call it as instance and instance will be equal to model dot object dot filter and it will be pk equal to pk and then since it will be returning with a query set so i'm going to do first so that i have an object that is instance in my hand so now we have instance over here over here we could actually iterate over these categories and like add one by one so let me show what i'm trying to tell you but this is totally inefficient way of doing so but just for the video demonstration purpose i will show you all what i'm trying to say category in categories and then instance dot field name that is category dot add okay so over here say if user adds up 10 new categories then database will be hit 10 times over here so that's why we avoid these kinds of for loop there's a workaround for this one and i will show you all let me comment out this one and then workaround is that again we are going to use instance dot category dot add and we are going to pass in these categories directly over here but these categories will be a list so i have to convert it into set and then expand it over here so expansion of set will be done by using the star and before that we need to make sure to convert it to set so set categories and then of course we are going to take the serialized object and return it to the user so that will do now so serializer is equal to self dot serializer class and then pass in the instance and after that we are going to do return response response serializer dot data 
and status will be equal to status dot okay i'm going to just do http 200 okay 200 okay let me fix the spellings so quickly over here in order to add a new category to the existing post we have created this new endpoint and it is expecting the user to send ids of those categories and also pk id for of that post so using that pk we extract that particular post and we use these categories posted uh, in the data convert it into set and then add that uh, to the particular post okay so uh, the format of that is this instance dot field name that is category over here dot add uh, categories okay so just for clarity i will change this to data so this is field name and then dot add is the method and then we pass in the data so that's it let's try to run this and for this one instead of going to the browser we are going to use uh, the thunder client and i will show you all how to do that we are going to just uh, use this format okay so this is our url okay actually let's go to the browser first and check it out so uh, we'll go to the admin uh, sorry to the django side and over here in the post if we go to any one of the post that is one or two because we have used detail equal to true so that extra actions will be listed over here add category okay and if you check right now for this particular post we have category as one and if i go on this add category this will be shown but we can give let me show you all what we can give so we can give this ids ids over here and it will be a list because that's what we are expecting so one is already there right so i'm going to add two comma three okay so i'm going to add two at one go i'm going to click on patch and fingers crossed yes there we go so our category has been added two and three we could do it again and let's try to do uh, let's try to experiment some things okay so what i would like to experiment over here is since we already have two and three i'm going to pass two three and four only one two three and four were added the same id was not repeated so that is already handled by django so our dot add that is adding new category is done now say we want to like clear all of them and then we want to like add a new one say clear all of them and just i just want four id number four okay so for that we will go to the code and create another endpoint and i will copy this one till this much so this will be set category over here we have two ways to do that first we could use dot clear uh, like instance dot field name category dot clear so this will clear that uh, existing data then we could convert the data to set and then we could add all of them so this is one way that we could do but this will be inefficient right because we will be first hitting clear then we will be adding so this is like two step process instead of that what if i want to do it in one step so for that we have one more method called as set and that will be setting the data so what i'm trying to say is instance dot field name category dot set in this we have to directly pass in the list so category data and that's it it will like clear clear uh, the existing data and also add the new data that we have passed and then we will of course serialize the data and return it back to the user so let's check this out how it runs let me go to the browser over here let me refresh and in extraction we have set category so set category and we already know that we have multiple ids already present let me copy from here and go to the browser and paste it so i want just the id number four as category and rest all of them to be cleared and if i click on patch now it will do the exact same thing what i said patch and there we go so all the categories were cleared and just category number four was added to this so let me quickly re-explain what i have done so in the set category whenever i want to clear all the data from m to m field and then add new data i use dot set method okay so it is instance that is object dot field name that is m to m uh, many to many field name category over here dot set and uh, it should be passed a list so in this video we have successfully covered dot add and dot set method for saving uh, many to many data in django and that's it for this video guys make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and see you in the next one